Hi, this is Jack from Autism Plugged In, and today we're going to be taking a look at a YouTube Timer app. Now, I've been getting a lot of emails and messages from parents saying, we like YouTube, it's great, but we have a problem because when kids use the iPad, all they want to do is go on YouTube and just watch videos. So we either need something to block the home button or to block YouTube or some way to stop them from watching YouTube when they're supposed to be working with other apps. So uh, the YouTube Timer app, what it does is it's going to allow you to set a code and then to use that code in order to manage how long kids can watch YouTube. Uh, this app does not control the content that kids can find, so um, I have linked to the full review in the description, and that also links to a place that will tell you how you can set up Safe Search uh, on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the app here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So this is um, what the screen looks like when you open the app. And when you first open the app, it actually uh, asks you to create a code that's going to serve as kind of a password. So I'm going to tap on settings in the top right, and it will show you kind of the same screen that I got when I opened the app. All right, so this is how you can change the code. If you have a current code, you enter the current code and then the new code that you want. Uh, mine is just set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right now. So I'm going to go back and show you how the app works. See, this timer is set to 30 seconds right now. So if I type in my code, that's my code, and if I hit start timer, it's only going to let me go on YouTube for 30 seconds and then the app's going to close, even if I'm watching a video. So if I tap that, it's going to open this up. And then I can try to search for a video. I like this one, so how animals eat their food. My internet is actually kind of slow, so. And you'll see that it uh, cuts me off there at the 30 second mark. So basically that's how you can manage and it does go up to until the app is closed so if you are just using YouTube also through this app that's fine you can just choose that as your timer. Um, you can set any of these values for how long kids can go on YouTube and that's basically the app but it's really helpful I know a lot of people have been looking for this kind of thing so I thought I'd share it with you and um, I have links to Autism Plugged In in the description if you want to check that out. Look at Safe Search because I know it's an issue too. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching this and thanks.